So, ano naman ang contents of the parole referral summary? So, number one, may haram tayong the general background and present status of the inmate. Kung ano yung kabuuan ng kanyang background, uh, starting from hindi pa siya napupunta sa uh, napupunta, napupunta doon sa kulungan at saka yung kanyang uh, pagkabilanggo. Uh, and present status of the inmate. Kung ano ang kanyang present status. Local status with regard to release. Kung ano yung kanyang status Uh, with regard to release baka mamaya pag, pag labas niya is abangan siya, tatambayan siya ng kanyang mga karido, for example kung maranaw previous criminal behavior in relation to parole system, kung ano yung kanyang mga previous criminal behavior while staying and while outside and while staying at the prison uh, institution social history yun, including family relations kung paano siya namumuhay sa kanyang mga mumuhay kasama ang kanyang pamilya social welfare assistance and use of leisure time kung ano yung mga pinagkakabalahan niya dati di ba then personality adjustment and prison including appraisal of disciplinary record kung paano siya nag-adjust doon sa uh, itinatakda ng batas sa loob ng kulungan and then other matters number two is report of institutional program so meron tayong mabasihan na treatment of personality maladjustment kung paano siya paano siya na treat during his personality maladjustment for example mayroon siyang mga ugali na hindi ka nice nice sa kul kulungan so paano ito na na force at saka paano ito na lalapatan ng agarang lunas then number two is vocational training ano yung mga natapos na sa loob okay academic education sa loob ng kulungan Medical treatment, ano yung mga sakit niya. Then, recreational activities including habits, religious interest, and other matters. Okay, the inmate's own plans and concern about parole. So, kung ano yung kanyang plano at saka ano yung mga concern niya sa kapag binigyan siya ng parole. Then, number one, preferred place of residence. Kung saan niya gusto manirahan. Number two, type of work desire. Kung ano yung trabaho na gusto niya maatain. Family relations, kung sino yung gusto niyang kasama, di ba? And problems anticipated by inmate, ano yung magiging mga problema in other matters. Number four is comments by the compiler of the report. So, kung sino yung nagkukumpile ng report, so anong comments na? The staff recommendations, okay? Level of, number one is level of supervision, maximum, medium, minimum. So, kung, kung saan siya bilong dyan, let us say, kasama siya maximum, medium, or minimum prisoner. So, residence. Work, uh, program, education, religion, recreation, etc. And special needs, medical, financial. So, include nila dun sa reports kung ano yung mga kinakailangan niya while sa labas siya ng kulungan. The importance of the parole referral summary. Bakit mahalaga ang parole referral summary? It is because it represents the final evaluation of the effect upon the inmates of this investment in their welfare by society. So, na nakapaloob dyan yung final evaluation kung saan kapag pinalabas natin ang tao is ano ba yung magiging kahinat na ano ba yung makakabuti ba ito sa lipunan o hindi the parole referral summary is as sent to the field officers of the parole bureau so ang par parole referral summary tandaan is ibinibigay sa field officers of the parole bureau This document represent a general plan for the care and treatment of the parolee. So, nakalagay dyan kung ano yung plano sa kanya while sineserve pa niya yung hindi na, uh, natitirang sentence siya while nasa lo, labas ng kulungan. Circumstances may require modifications of the recommendations contained by the paroling agency. So, po pwede namang i-modify may mga sentences so long as... Uh, Merong recommendation. Okay, yet the parole referral summary remains the basic clinical document for the determination of a man's program upon release. Okay, since it represents a comprehensive study by the institutional study of his entire life. Entire life. So, di ba sabi natin kanina, nandun sa, sa tataas kung pinag-aaralan dun, kung ano yung mga previous backgrounds, social status, family relations. So, dyan, bago tayo magkamat ng parole referral summary. In pre-parole investigation, the primary duty of the parole board is to is the proper selection of prisoners to be released on parole. So, wala tayong kamagkamag-anak. Sabi natin kanina, hindi po pwedeng it's, uh, um, magbibigay ng, ah, doon naman yun. Hindi po pwedeng bibigyan mo yan dahil kamag-anak mo. So, yan. 
It is the prime concern of the board to determine whether parole applicants are capable of living in the community. So, titignan natin kung kaya ba niya mabuhay sa community and remaining at liberty without violating laws. Baka mamaya, gumagawa na naman ng krimen. It must also determine whether the release of the prisoner is, is compatible to the welfare of society. Baka mamaya, uh, madalit, um, babalik siya kaagad dahil hindi siya well uh, reformed. Babalik siya kaagad dun sa kanyang kinagisnan, rather. The Investigation Division of the Parole Office takes charge of making a pre-parole investigation for reference and guidance of the board in the proper selection of prisoners for parole. So, yun. Yung tinitingnan natin, come up ng pre-parole investigation para gamitin dun sa um, magandang pag-select ng qualified uh, prisoners for parole. The parole officer making the pre-parole investigation collates all informations regarding the inmate contained in various documents or reports. Lahat-lahat ng kanyang mga previous records. Namely, the comments from the sentencing judge, kung ano yung binigay niya, comments from the prosecuting fiscal, and a further analysis of the many studies and contacts made by the trained prison staff during the period of the inmates' imprisonment. So, napakahirap, napakahirap pag-aralan niya. So, So, yun ang task nila para ma-determine kung sino yung mga qualified. Okay. The institutional reports consist of psychiatric and psychological reports, the social history of the prisoner prepared by the sociologist. So, ang gagawa niya ng social history is ng sociologist because sociology is study of the society. Educational report, evidence of wanting to reform, conduct while in prison, anong galing niya, attitude, and other contributive factors. So, yan ang napakapaloob. In determining the fitness of the prisoner for parole, the parole board should likewise look into the negative factors which may disqualify the prisoner for parole, such as the adverse feeling of the community toward his release and parole. Baka mamaya, di ba? Dahil ba pwedeng uh, hindi ka nice-nice sa lipunan na palabasin niyan, so i-consider natin yan. An unstable family situation, di ba? Uh, lack of employment, opportunity or unsatisfactory record of previous employment history of failure to support family or dependents properly. Baka mamaya, pag hindi siya nagsusupport previously, dun sa kanyang magulang, dun sa kanyang pamilya, mga anak. Lack of responsibility, di ba? Record of nomadi nomadism, di ba? Alcoholism, lack of home sites, and antisocial nor immoral act. So, those... Those instances is po pwede ma-disqualify ang tao. The parole board should likewise consider the favorable or unfavorable reports of the field supervi supervising parole officer on the parole plan for the prisoner since this office officer makes last-minute verification on arrangement regarding residence, selection of parole advisor, and prospective employment. So those are to be considered in the Pre-parole investigation.